registered nurse and also a um, certified diabetes educator. And um, I've been practicing here at St. Mark's Hospital for over 20 years and then here at the Diabetes Center about seven years. So, diabetes, it's a chronic disease. That means it's a long-standing disease and we really do not have cure for the illness. Uh, and it's caused or, as you know, when you go to your doctor, the doctor tells you that you had high blood sugar, and you had really um, large amount of sugar in your bloodstream. And it is caused uh, by your body not making enough, or your pancreas, it's a little organ behind your stomach, not making enough insulin, or your own insulin is having a really hard time to keep the blood sugar in the normal range. or we have four different types of diabetes. The first one is called, it's called type 1 diabetes. That's when the pancreas totally quits and makes no insulin. And those people are fully depending on the insulin from outside to keep the blood sugar in a normal range. So they are, those people have to take injections up to four times a day, they wear insulin pumps, and they just, even if they can control their diabetes perfectly, it's just they are totally depending on the insulin from outside. Type 2 diabetes, it's another type, and it's, if you have about 90 to 95 percent of people with diabetes, they have type 2 diabetes. And what is happening in their body is then their pancreas usually makes less insulin or plus on the top of it their own insulin is having a harder time to do the job. And we call it a big word, it's called insulin resistance. But I kind of use my own analogy and I say your own cells are stubborn and not allowing your existing insulin to help you to keep the blood glucose levels in normal ranges. The other type of diabetes is diabetes during pregnancy. It's called gestational diabetes. And those women usually they have plenty of insulin on board, but what, they, what is happening Again, their own insulin is having a really difficult time to keep the blood sugar in the normal range. And the other one, which we know we have about almost 80 million people in the United States, they are in pre-diabetes. Those patients or those people still making plenty of insulin, but again, the insulin is having more difficult time to help them to keep the blood glucose levels in normal ranges. Those are the types we know of, we have listed, and that's what the medical community um, tells us we have. Each of those patient persons or people with the disease, they we say they also have their own progression or own type of uh, diseases. We have many different maybe subgroups. Uh, we have um, one, it's called the latent autoimmune diabetes of adults. It happens people later, later in their lives.